Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 5 and in this video I want to talk about jQuery selectors. Alright then class, so as you can see I've got my HTML file open right at the top here, index.html and at the bottom I've got this script.js file that we linked up in one of the first tutorial videos. Uh, the way I've got this horizontal split is by going to view and then going to horizontal split. Alright, so we get the index at the top and the script at the bottom. Now, selectors, what are selectors? Well, selectors are basically used to grab content from a web page and they're made using what is essentially CSS syntax. So if you know CSS and how to grab elements from a web page, then you're in a really good position to grab content from a web page using jQuery also. All right, now for example, I could say something like this, uh, dollar sign because we're using a jQuery statement and then within the brackets, we're going to specify which element we want to go after. Now, I'm just going to say we want this lead banner. And using a CSS selector, we would say hash lead hyphen banner, which is exactly the same as what we do in jQuery. Okay, so that there would return to us that element in a jQuery wrapper so that we can do further things to it. We can manipulate it further if need be with jQuery. For example, we could change the CSS or animate it using one of jQuery's methods, right? Now, if we wanted to go for all the P tags within the lead banner, we just add a P on like that, as we would in a CSS selector. And that's gonna to return to us the jQuery array of all those P tags, and we can manipulate those further, all right? So that is the crux of how we select content using jQuery. So like I said, if you know CSS, this is gonna be really simple. Now, this ain't gonna be a lesson on CSS selectors. If you wanna learn more about CSS and how you target content using selectors, um, I'll leave a link to that CSS for Beginners playlist down below. Go and check that out. I go into those extensively in that playlist. So for now, what I want to do is just give you a few examples. So down here in the code, I've commented out some previous statements that I've made. The first one right here is just targeting elements. It's targeting the H3s, okay? And it's changing the CSS to have a border of three pixels solid and blue. So what I'm going to do is just uncomment this right now and see what it does on the right when we click save. Okay, now you can see blue borders around all the H3s on the page. And it appears that these are the only H3s there. All right, so this is a jQuery method, this CSS, dot CSS, that we've used on that jQuery array that's been returned to us, the array of all those H3s, okay? So we've changed the board on all of them at once. Um, now the second one I've done is a class selector, much like CSS, we can select classes. And I'm gonna uncomment this, it's the wrapper class, which is seen a few times in this index.html. We've got it there, we've got it down here somewhere, and then another time down here. So three in total, I'm gonna uncomment that, and see what it does on the right, press save. And now guys, you can see we've got a wrapper at the top right here, uh, which has collapsed, but never mind that. Uh, we've got this wrapper right here, keeping the banner content within the confines of this central column. And then finally, we've got this wrapper here, which is containing all the main content, perfect. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna show you this ID selector. Again, much like CSS, we can target IDs and it's just hash clients or pound clients, whatever you wanna call this little symbol here. And that section is down here somewhere. There we go, section ID equals clients. So it's this middle bit here. So if I uncomment this, it should give it a yellow border. Save that. And there we go, you can see the yellow border now right here around this client section. All right, so that is how we reach into our document using jQuery and grab those elements. And then once we've grabbed those elements, we can start manipulating them with the uh, jQuery methods and properties, all right? So that's enough for this lesson, just keeping it nice and simple. I wanna show you the basics for now. And if we want, we could take this one step further. We could use something called filters, which are a bit like pseudo classes in CSS. We're gonna take a closer look at those in the very next tutorial, okay? So that's all for now. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you in the next video.